Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. How are you doing? I have been having a little bit of a panic. <laughs> um, for the last um, last time, I just got very calm. I thought I'd just get everything set up. And then, doof, the screen went dead. And then I somehow managed to, I was moving my screen around. And I managed to pull the plug out of the back. Anyway, I, so, so that shut the whole computer down. So I had to restart. And uh, I got everything up and running again. And... Could I connect to YouTube? No, I could not. And it, it just, everything went really, really weird. Um, so um, I thought, mm, never mind, I'll just go anyway, see what happens. So I'll be able to record it live here and post it up later. And then literally with about a minute to go, suddenly it said, oh, you're connected. Again. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody else found YouTube had kind of uh, gone down or something like that I thought oh no we've all been using YouTube far too much and uh, the system has gone down or maybe maybe it's just something in the town and everybody is kind of using it um, and you know, the internet is under a lot of strain at the moment so how is everybody we've got Jessica Taylor hi again trails to you woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. yes <laughs> we have a big shed up hi Judy I'm early now that is unusual yes <laughs> <laughs> Joy for kids and beginners, never watched one of your live videos before, only pre-recorded. Should be interesting because I love castles and medieval stuff. And why am I going to do castles today? Well, there were some couple of things I, I had thought that I would do yesterday when I was talking about light and shade. Um, and, and I sort of thought about buildings. And, and castles have sort of amazing kind of shade and sort of little nooks and crannies and things so I thought I could maybe bring something like that in but also um I kind of you know I'm one of those data nerds I like looking at my analytics and uh, and I've noticed there's been a kind of a, a surge of searching for how to draw castles so I thought hmm the internet is trying to tell me something so I thought okay well I'll, that's what I will do um, so anyway, let me find, um, I was going to, I can get rid of that screen um, now. See, I was almost, I, I had everything beautifully set up. So let me go, I, um, I just kind of put castles in there because I had that all beautifully set up um, like that. And then I also want to go have a new one and there we go in Instagram. That's what I want. <laughs> And I'm going to go type in hashtag Shooby Doodle. Uh, be Doodle because we have some new things. And if that connects, yes. So then I should be able to come to that. Yes. Oh, and I'm just going to, uh, what's going on? Um, so now I can show you we have got here a uh, bunny kissed. <laughs> me too. there's mr panda from three days ago two days ago when we had steve anthony on here as a guest and let me just come back to it yes that's right i'm just checking what you can see so um we had steve anthony on if you remember and uh, he has um he said sort of, we were talking about mr panda which is one of his picture books and uh, talking about a very interesting way that he does the artwork and he does it all in he, he gets really black graphite and he shaves it and then he rubs it around with his fingers so he gets really black but really soft kind of images and then he scans it but he's doing it all in layers so the white layer of Mr Panda he does in black as well and then on Photoshop he reverses it into white it's all very complicated <laughs> and then adds the black on top um uh, uh but but i kind of showed how i would do it in uh sort of wet on wet watercolor and that's what uh bunny kiss has been doing and what else do we have here uh lily bloom writer also did her version here um and and i know so we've got all sorts of various bits showing up and i know yes there we are so she's showing us a little bit of video so if you go on to Instagram um, and look up hashtag Shooby Doodle. You'll be able to look up for all these things yourself. Have we got any more? Yeah, we, did we see that last time? I think we did. Let me come back out of here and see what else we have. Let's go. Oh, yes, this I thought was very funny. It says Chris been dry as <laughs> Mr. Panda's day off. <laughs> and he's got a kind of a, a, a bamboo stick up here because 
pandas eat bamboo and he's got his little donut hat up at the top because Mr Panda sells donuts. Well, he doesn't sell donuts. He gives them to nice people who say please. <laughs> uh, and I think, have we seen yours before, Lily? It's, it starts getting complicated trying to remember who's done what. Anyway, here we are. Daisy Dion, I think that's a new one too. Fantastic. Start on your Instagram today after this fun tutorial. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Uh, oh, I did that one. <laughs> And yes, I think we're up to date. I think we are up to date. Yes. Great. So I can now come back out of that. And let's go into castles. There are so many kinds, aren't there? And see, a castle like this isn't really a fortification, is it? That's a, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big fancy house. And something like this, well, I suppose up on the top of a rock, I suppose, yes, it's kind of fortified. But this is what we think of as a real medieval castle, something like that, isn't it? And uh, so, so <laughs> yeah, and this again here is a kind of, it's a kind of, you know, sort of Victorian uh, sort of pretend castle. But here, this is another beautiful one here, isn't it? Uh, I think is that I think that is will it tell us I don't know I think that's the one in Kent which is called so it's, you'd think it would be called Kent Castle but of course it won't be um, that's that's the wonderful thing in this country there's I think that's the same Bodium, Bodium Castle I've never been there in East Sussex mm -hmm. no maybe I have to go there one day but then you get this incredible kind of thing here as well, don't you? And I'm sure if I go down far enough, we will probably come across uh, the Walt Disney's <laughs> kind of, uh, the Walt Disney castle somewhere, won't we? Sort of princess castle. Look at that one there. Amazing castles in Germany. I remember as a child, my, uh, my dad was in the army, so we were posted and lived in Germany for a while, and we kind of would go down the Rhine and visiting some of these schlosses. And, uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, so somewhere down here, we've read, here's Downton Abbey, which isn't really a castle, is it? I don't think. It, but then there might have been a castle there one, once upon a time, and it has been built upon. I feel we should have uh, Disney in there somewhere. But anyway, let's, <laughs> let me come back to here. There we are. And um, let me think about castles. So I'm quite lucky where I live, um, just about 20 minutes south of where I am. Then there is Chepstow Castle. And I'm living right on the Welsh border, which is where Edward the Fourth, second, first, I don't know, one of the Edwards, <laughs> built a whole string of castles because um, England is um, England is on one side of the country. If you don't live in the United Kingdom, a lot of people think maybe the whole country is England, but it's not. Um, so England is part of the country and on one side, hang on, let me, let me get a piece of paper and I'll explain this. Let me... <laughs> I thought I was completely prepared there. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, no memory card at study me. So let's switch over to See that. There we are, good. Let me get a piece of paper. And um, so when, um, that's very close up, isn't it? I'm gonna zoom out. Oh, uh, there we are, good. So a lot of, um, you know, those kind of medieval knights in armor kind of castles you think of are kind of English castles. Um, so, um, what we have is, can you see all that? Yeah. So we kind of have Scotland up there, which is kind of separated down the middle with the Great Glen. And we've got islands and then we've got Orkney and Shetland. Um, and then we have England, which sort of comes down like that. And then here we have Wales, which is another country on its own. And the Isle of Wight there, <laughs> East Anglia, Kent. So, uh, and London will be about there, and I live about there on the border. So, hmm, what happened? I'm, I'm giving you a history lesson here. Um, <laughs> and let me find my book. It fits up here. Um, I'm trying to find... No, I can't find it. I haven't got a copy. So anyway, I read a book called Dragon Gold. And um, wait a minute now, I should be able to just bring you 
in. Why, why is that not plugged in? Something isn't plugged in. I'm just going to check. See, I thought I had this all sorted out. Is that not plugged in? Uh, that should be plugged in. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that not working? Uh, there we are. Good. So um, uh, I, I read a book called Dragon Gold and it's all set in Wales, which is this country here. Um, and uh, the Welsh flag has a red dragon on it. And the red dragon represents the ancient Britons who used to live in the whole country. And then the Angles and the Saxons sort of came France, Germany, and they all sort of came this way. Um, and then you also had Norway up here, so you had the Vikings coming. <laughs> we had it all. Um, and, and basically the ancient Britons got pushed out into Wales and up into North Scotland. And so Angles and Saxons, Anglo-Saxons, became Angle, became Engel, English, you see. And um, so England became... <laughs> the English and the Angles and the Saxons and, and, and a whole lot of Vikings and stuff. Uh, but the Welsh uh, is, is very definitely another country. Um, and so at some point, um, all these castles were built along the border and all over Wales to keep the Welsh in order. Of course, the Welsh would see it <laughs> completely differently. It was an imperialist plot to keep them subjugated, which is absolutely true. Um, and... So, so where I live here, we have Chepstow Castle quite close and Caldicott not far away. Uh, just over there is, um, uh, I can't remember his name, Goodrich Castle. Um, and there are, I'm just surrounded by castles here and they're all very much medieval kind of castles. Um, the old fashioned kind of castles that you think of. So if you have got a pencil and paper, um, <laughs> See, I should have been completely ready, but there was this last minute panic trying to connect to YouTube and I can't find a pencil now. So I must have one somewhere. Uh, let me have a look at my drawer over here. No, let me have a look at my drawer over here. There we are, that will do. So um, basically, I need some glasses. <laughs> I am so disorganized today. So, um, what we're going to do is, well, so let's draw a very basic kind of castle. Um, we'll start with um, a, a kind of a square on the front. And then in the middle, we're going to want to have um, a, a gate. So let's have a look at a few gates here uh, where we were. Let's go back. Oh, we'll get rid of that and let's go up to the top again. There we are. So. Here you can see that's a very kind of Normany kind of gate, and here we've got a little quite Norman kind of um, uh, windows and things like that. Um, so I think we can go with that, and maybe we'll put the odd kind of cross arrow kind of thing in there as well. So let's go back to here. We are there. Did I show you that? Hang on, where was I? I'm look. I don't know where I'm looking. <laughs> I got another screen over here, which is suddenly not uh, not connecting. I'll just have another look. Is that not plugged in at the back? It's unplugged for some reason because the lead is too short. Will that come up? Now I can see what's happening. Good. <laughs> this is all very complicated. Um, so uh, we're going to want to have. Um, so let's have a Norman kind of arch, which is going to be rounded at the top. So the Normans were the Vikings that uh, eventually ended up in northern France. Uh, the Norse men became the Normen, the Normans. Um, and so we and, and, and this all goes back to William the Conqueror, 1066 and all that. Um, and the, the Normans came and conquered Britain. And uh, William the Conqueror became the king. And and then he kind of thinks he was then worried about all the Angles and Saxons. <laughs> so he had to build castles to put them in their place. So he built lots of castles and you'll find lots of Norman buildings around the country. But you can tell by this rounded arch and the rounded windows. So where is that? Well, yeah, let's have a few 
kind of little rounded windows maybe up there and up above there something like that so then we are going to want to have um, towers on the end here as well so these are going to be let's we're going to make this really really simple or well, fairly simple so these towers will be kind of squares uh, on the end there and we're going to want battlements aren't we so let's put some um, these sort of teeth in up at the top so I'm doing it that way so I can try and space them out fairly evenly and you're going to want a little line underneath underneath each one like that and we probably have a line under there as well yeah, that'll do um, and then we're going to want to ah, let me think let's make it reasonably easy so let's put a little kind of thin sausage in on the top like that and then that can go up to slightly wider on each side like that and then we'll have battlements so make that one these ones a bit shorter and then the ones in the middle can be longer so that's giving by making that shorter that way it makes it look like it's curving around a bit so we can put that there and another one there and another one there and then if we have some windows one two and another one there something like that and there and then we're probably going to have a keep inside it so the keep is the, the kind of the main fortress bit inside and uh, let, let's take that there so it's coming up in between and so we can um, yeah that feels about right so but this may be more this is more where sort of life goes on so we can have slightly bigger windows there maybe and um, and then we can have sort of more battlements uh, on the top put one in the middle and then one there and one there and then we might find there's some kind of a roof in there as well something like that and and maybe some interesting bits there so um and then we'll have a little bit of perspective so we have the drawbridge coming over there uh and we'll kind of assume there's going to be water around about there so that we can bring the moat sort of around like that and horizon line going that way and then the road coming out there so let's see what happens when we ink this in so have you got a pen um if we come and draw these little bits on the top so these are kind of little knurly bits uh, they're they, they're not really needed but it, it's kind of um prettification isn't it um so that can come down to there yeah so let's do these and you can come just inside that at the top there like that and then we'll do that there so if I bring that down and down and across and across and across and then we can do that line there now we want to get a kind of castle feel to this so this is going to be built from stone so maybe just sort of make it slightly rough and wiggly as you come down there um, so it's not too square because because it isn't really <laughs> so, and and quite often you will find that the that that they're built on a bit of rock or something like that so we could kind of do something like that uh, let's put the let's put the drawbridge in because that's quite close to us isn't it like that and that will be going like that to give that kind of feeling of perspective leading you into the castle and and again let's take that down there and well, imagine that this is kind of built on a plug of rock and then they've built the um, moat all around it like that so that that will be 
the water level coming in around there and then we can have this sort of maybe we could have a little duck swimming in the water there as well <laughs> um and then again let's kind of make this slightly wiggly coming all the way down straight to there again slightly wiggly coming all the way down slightly wiggly and uh and then let's do at the bottom of these curves let's put these little window sills like that and uh, we can probably do that all the way along here as well and and then we can do these nice arches coming around the top so this isn't a i'm making this up as i go along okay so <laughs> if you really want details um, if you really want kind of specific details for a specific period, then, um, you know, go to Google and type in and go and have a look at lots and lots of castles. Um, but uh, and, and sort of work out all those little details. So but this is just sort of something that you can follow along and have a little go at. And um, next, let's do this line across here. So that's a kind of a, a little sort of line of pattern I suppose you would call it and let's then put these kind of they're kind of rolled tops on the top of the the battlements and somebody will be screaming saying they're not called battlements they're called something <laughs> when it comes to castles they have um Every little thing has a word for it, and some people are experts on what those words are. So if you're screaming and saying, it's not, it's not a battlement, <laughs> put it in the comments below. <laughs> put it in the chat. In fact, let me see if I get the chat up, because I can't. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for the chat window. There we are. Let me have a look. What are, what are people saying? I'll give you a moment to catch up while I... Um, uh, have a look and see what you're saying. So, uh, Angelus the Earth Angel, hello! Justin Taylor, howdy! Uh, B5 Bob Shelty, we've been watching you since you first drew an iPhone for however long ago that must have been. Sheesh! That was a very long time ago. I, I would quite like to have an iPhone 4 again. New iPhones are all good, they're just too much, aren't they? Uh, Chris Bidry, if you can only see a black screen and error message, you need to refresh. Mm. No, I actually need to plug it in. <laughs> uh, Judy G, hi. Uh, Hannah Fountain, the weather in Rodan is better today. No flurries, sun and clear skies. It was probably me in some part. I watched your Castle Ruins video about 20 times in 48 hours. There we are. Great. And, um, so, uh, yeah, Rhode Island. Uh, it's a beautiful day here again. It's quite, quite crisp crisp and and sunny but very very lovely and it's been so much rain this year it's so lovely to have all this sunshine nina swan hi wow castle so excited uh big shed aunt judy says wow crispin that's great uh big shed is it a bsa <laughs> you two got to think about bsa so. um love visit alnwick a couple of years ago hope to return says hannah found it yeah i went last last year we, we stayed in alnwick Al alnwick for a couple of nights and went to the castle which is where they filmed a lot of harry potter it's kind of the, the you know where they do all the what's it called snitch snitch flying stuff outside um that that's where they kind of filmed all that stuff uh chris ben Dyke, sound oh no am i oh or is that so you're not saying that i haven't got the camera on no no, no i think the sound they're no, good um now uh, tj oh what happened there oops you're back a few so um some it's obviously lost the sound i'm just gonna try and see i'll just check that the microphone's working on that I'll just check that the microphone's working on that it should be should be it's, yeah good uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry <laughs> Um, Serafina, hi from Vancouver Island. Hello again, Lawrence Mayher. Hi, Lawrence. <laughs> How are you? Uh, have you been ever been to Pevensey Castle, originally a Roma fort? Yes, I have. I did a gig in Pevensey Castle once. Uh, uh, where there was a great big children's festival thing. It was really funny. They had the um, the, the Boy Scouts put one of those really old army tents up. 
and and they um, wanted to fill it up with helium balloons at the top, and they forgot there were holes, and so they all kind of <laughs> went out of the sky at the top, and it got so hot in that tent. Uh, and I remember there was a lovely little... You went down to sort of... A staircase round the back of Pevensey there, and there was a, a fabulous tea room at the bottom. I remember uh, Joseph Miller. Hey, hi, Sue. Greetings from Connecticut. You say, uh, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, mm. Trails TM. Just my luck. I settled down to watch a shoot live, and the phone rings. Always something to distract me. Grr. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I hope no one's going to phone me. Christmas drive flagpoles. OK, uh, Carolina, how are you? The best known German castle is Neuschwanstein, the Disney castle. Sadly, we don't have so many ghosts spooking in castles as you have. I, th I think quite a lot of uh, um, uh, German castles. I'm trying to think Neu is new, new swan stone. Neuschwanstein, Stein is stone, Schwan is a swan and new is new. So, um I think a lot of quite a lot of those German castles are, are really kind of uh, sort of late nineteenth century kind of sort of homes for the really rich people. <laughs> uh, Ruth Smith, have you heard of Lydney? My parents are buried there. Lydney, I live very close to Lydney. Yes. Uh, Big Mike says hello. DC Saunders, shoo. There we are. Good. So let's get back on with the drawing. Let's see how you are doing. Um, <clears throat> now, um, let's draw this Norman archie. Now, if this was a, in a Norman church, it would have a fancy kind of dog tooth pattern. I've gone slightly um, short on that side, but never mind. But let's give it another kind of ring inside it there. Oh, and let's give it another one inside there as well. Um, in fact, let's make it let's make it a little bit fancy, and we'll do this kind of Norman dog tooth kind of thing. Just oh, let's throw everything at it. Um, I'll I'll see if I can fit a, a Disney princess kind of <laughs> turret in the back. Let's, or shall we do that later? Now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line across there, right now, and then I'm going to draw some double lines coming down here, so that this will be the um, the gate. Portcullis is the word I'm looking for, and then we want to get in between um, because that will be behind it, and sort of draw this crisscross pattern. And then here we're going to want to have kind of spearheads coming down so if the enemy are coming and they drop the portcullis it's it's gonna hurt mm. um so let's let's have um i just kind of draw that quite um lightly there and i'm going to sort of assume there's a kind of a courtyard there so i'll draw these they're not vertical lines because i want to get that kind of feeling of going up um, to the castle at the back there, and I'll just draw some lines in there, like the steps going up. So, um, what have we got next? Now, this window will, in fact, be... Let me find another little piece of paper. No. <laughs> another bigger bit of paper. Oh, no, I could do it on my England map. There we are. Uh, this window, what is going on is that you have got... This is what we're seeing at the front. OK, and we're seeing a little windowsill bit there, which is really to catch the rain and to let it drip over the edge and not to dribble down the side of the wall and then start making stains and you know, everything will start sort of freezing and rotting and all sorts of stuff like that. So looking straight on, it's going to go up at an angle. So these are really thick walls and the window on the inside is going to be quite narrow. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. And as far as light is concerned, so if you've got the light coming this way, this is where the light and shade comes in, you're going to have shade from that little bit that is sticking out. And then you're going to get sort of shade in there as well. And maybe a little bit along there. And then 
this will be really quite dark inside. So that is kind of the window that we're trying to create here. <laughs> so, but this is a round tower. Okay, so what we need to do is to draw that up there and then up a bit and around and across. And then this one will be the opposite. We'll go like that. And that one will come up there like that so that we can shade the inner bit, the actual window, we can shade that quite dark. And then we can put some sort of shade. That would be shade all the way around if the sun is coming down. So that might catch some sun, a bit like that. And what we can do is just make that a little bit darker underneath there. These will be, you'll see this straight on. So we'll want to see something like that here. Okay, which is going to be looking like that. And um, we can do the same here. And then we'll want the window itself to be dark. And then we can have that shading in on that side. Like that. Or you can, if you're going to watercolour it or something, you can shade that in watercolour later. And then I'm going to thicken underneath there to get a, 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 a shadow underneath the windowsill but these are going to have shadow underneath too and so we can do that along there make that a little bit darker and these bits will be in fact that might be slightly curved the shadow that that is creating like that and again here, that is going to cut. Ah, the wrong way around. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was being dyslexic totally there. I do that sometimes. And I intend to do a line one way and do it completely the other. Um, so this one will be coming around that way because it's curved around this side of the castle. And then that will be there. And we can have some shade there. And then let's come up to the, the sort of bit at the back here. In fact, let's go and have a, let's, before I put this roof on, let me have a little look um, at the, <laughs> some more castles here um, and see if we can find a better keep to put inside it. Um, uh -huh, uh -uh, it's all the same castles popping up, isn't it really? Uh, what I should maybe do is put castle keep. <laughs> Life can be um, so obvious sometimes, can't it? When you <laughs> ah look, that's that's a pretty good one, isn't it? So we can yes. So let's do. How is that working? So let's do something. So that's going to go up into sort of two little towers in the corners like that so these will be kind of square towers and then we'll want the battlements on there so um so let's do battlement 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 battlement, battlement there. <laughs> to a straight line down there oh with the uh, i make it slightly wriggly wiggly as well so let's come down and across and up and down across and down and up and down up and across and down and up and across and down and up and down and what you will find um, is actually these little bits here are probably also to do with in fact you'll get them here as well won't you which are again to do with rain and it's to let the water drip away from the the building it's like like a window sill, but it's a kind of an outside window sill <laughs> without a window. So that would be something like that. And then we can do um, some more of these battlements here. I'm going to fit another one in. Yeah. And then again, we want those. I'm sure there's a word for them. And then. Uh, so we could, what we could do is sort of decide this is maybe an older original keep um, and we can give this a, a sort of square window in there and then that would be more um, like that and maybe we could cross it like that. 
what, to give a feeling of maybe there's um, maybe there's some glass in there um, like that and then again we can come down here so you know castles are, are built um, over over the centuries and added to so you can sort of add different styles quite, quite happily I think <laughs> and let's put some sort of background going on in there uh, flagpoles you want a flagpole so let's put a little flagpole in up at the top there and a big kind of wavy flag like that with a star or something like that and ding 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 um, now what then you need to do is now to make this look a bit more castly don't you <laughs> make it look a bit more like it's made of stone and and I think there is quite often a, a feeling that you've got to draw every stone and you do not have to draw every stone. So um, if you kind of draw little parts of it and do it in little sections, so do like a short one and a long one and a short one, short one and a long one and a short one and start on the outsides, short one, long one, short one. So, you know, you've got that corbelling, is it? I think, you know, the way you build bricks and you sort of, where the two join together, you put another one on the top. So you'll be getting that kind of pattern. Um, and do, do that so you get long ones and short ones. Uh, short one, long one, short one. Short one, long one, short one. Short one, long one, and then a short one. And, and they don't need to be perfect either. And here again, you can maybe do, um, you know, something going on in there. And again, long one, long one, long one, short one. Uh, short one, long one, short one. <laughs> short one, long one, short one. And all the way around here as well. And, and I think the temptation is to start sort of pointing all the way around like that, but don't. Uh, so keep your um, keep keep going horizontally here and maybe you want one like that and short one there we go like that like that like that um, and then again all the way up here as well and are you talking amongst yourselves because you know <laughs> this is the, <laughs> this is the kind of boring bit where you gotta uh, just just kind of fill it all in and try whistling a tune. Um, I had, um, I was uh, Skyping, no, I was texting this morning. Texting, no, I wasn't. I was Twitter messaging this morning. And <laughs> um, uh, the final uh, thing was um, saying, I'll be there from the person I was tweeting. Uh, who I will tell you about in just a moment, and 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 I've had all day because they just typed in. You know, I said see you tomorrow. They'll say I'll be there, and I've had I'll be there in my head all day with the, with the Jacksons. So um, yeah, so, <laughs> so so now that I've said that, you'll probably be singing it for the rest of the day too. So again, here now you can do these little sections of stone. Um, and sort of randomly, but do kind of two or three, two, four together like that. And it kind of fills it all in and gives the impression of stone. So you don't you don't want to fill the whole thing in um, because it then just be, gets to start looking a bit messy, doesn't it? Uh, uh, uh. And um, and then you know I'm I'm sort of thinking oh I'm I'm doing this all in you know <laughs> chatting and everything <laughs> get it all done in under an hour or something. I think if I was doing this as you know for a book and an illustration, then I'd be doing a lot more research. Be doing be doing rough sketches and plans. Maybe even go and visit a castle and get the feel. Um, so this is just this is just a quick sort of quick kind of. Ha how to <laughs> so I'm showing various little bits so um, 
Where am I? Let's go see what else you're saying. What 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 else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, can only see your Mac screen and bookcase. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it used to make little noises at me. That so there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Let me do a few more of these for you so that you can see what I have been doing. What, what have you been missing? Here, I'm doing the, just these little kind of one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm probably going to have to edit this bit out afterwards, aren't I? Because I know. What? What is going on? So and just put in these kind of little random... Um, uh, random stones. Oh, dear. i tell you what. What? <laughs> while you work that out <laughs> i'll go see what else you're saying hang on oh let me bring oh i don't want the word i'm getting all these things appearing on the screen hang on uh Stu, you deserve more subs i quite agree i quite agree make sure why don't you tell your friends to come and uh <laughs> come and sign up and, and uh watch stuff i need you to tell the world i'm here hang on there we are um oh we have to go right right back here a bit don't we um be a podium and warwick are awesome i'm not i haven't i've just been i've been to warwick and looked across the river i haven't actually been to the castle but that is quite an amazing castle isn't it um what happened there? oh you're back um uh, 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 pevensey castle built by william the conqueror over a thousand years ago it certainly was Hi, she greetings connecticut uh just my so have we done that haven't we done that yeah uh, i meant flagpoles on your drawing yep there we go hello shoe would you say hello to the children of mary island primary i certainly will oh sorry barry island <laughs> hello shoe please say hello to the children of barry island primary school please who will be watching from home while our school is closed <sighs> Hello there, children from Barry Island Primary School. <laughs> this is this is a not made for children show, but if children are watching, you're allowed to. But I'm not making this for children, okay? It was just a kind of a YouTube thing, okay? And I think I have been to Barry Island Primary School um, a while back, and I think was it last year, a year before I was uh, went to Barry Island Library, and I think uh, I think you may have come to see me at the library as well uh clay reckless they check change cameras oh dear you're all telling me we can't see you blah 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 uh it's gonna be a bit of dilly checks the chat oh shoot oh ooh, yeah oh ooh, can only see your mic oh yeah you need to reprint those remember to switch the camera things uh, i certainly do <laughs> i still got them <laughs> Uh, so, right, there we are. Uh, he really thinks we're all just drawing right along, but we really need some time to catch up. So anyway, well, I hope you're... Oh, sure. I'll go and make a sandwich. So she has lost control. Uh, sure, you haven't been on camera with Sketch for a good two, three minutes, Chris. It's all your fault. <laughs> good thing is it sounds like we got the flagpole included. You did. OK, who's going to be the first to break it to him that we missed the last five minutes? <laughs> Big shut up. Oh, I think he realises soon... As you saw the chat, everybody, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Yes, hit the like button and subscribe if you've not watched <laughs> the Shoe Rain Troy channel before. Click down here, I think, and you can subscribe. And when you press that button, there's a little bell. Ring the bell and you'll get notifications for when there are new shows coming along. And at the moment, because of this worldwide coronavirus uh, thing, which we don't talk about on here, um... I'm um, making these shows every day. I don't know what will happen <laughs> when we're all allowed out again because everybody's in lockdown, uh, which is why I'm doing these just to sort of <laughs> to make... It's, I'm doing my little bit. Okay, I'm doing my little bit to sort of bring a bit of joy into the world. Um, whether I am or not is another thing. Uh, where, so, um, yeah, I don't know what will happen after that. So, But that's uh, what I'm doing. And make sure you are subscribed and then you will be able to get notifications and also you will find that at four o'clock i can just do hang on a minute if i go and do something like that i can go bong draw stuff real easy if you go to my other channel not now afterwards um draw stuff real easy uh, youtube draw stuff real easy i have just uh, released a new video at four o'clock in fact as i do every thursday and this is another one from my um book <laughs> how to draw ancient greek stuff <laughs> and uh, it is how to draw a volute crater 
I showed you the drawing, didn't I, yesterday? Uh, I had to draw. It, it's a Greek pot. So you can go and do that. Um, uh, big show, I, everybody, don't forget to like, this is a good time to go and get a coffee or tea when he forgets that. I hope you are back now. Nobody's saying you're back. Watching. So um, let's have a little think um, about um, the painting. So I'm going to switch back to this. And now that I know it has, you should be able to hear me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Check the microphone. Have I switched the camera? So, <laughs> so uh, what I was going to tell you, tomorrow, 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 uh, be here. I have a guest coming tomorrow. Um, I have the wonderful Vivian French. Here is a children's author. She has written over 300 books, probably a lot more. I've known Viv for a long time. And... Um, she got an OBE for her services to children literature because she's she's just out there all the time performing, promoting children's literature. And um, so OBE is an order of the British Empire, which is a medal from the Queen. And, um, uh, and, and she is going to be on tomorrow and we are going to be talking about uh, illustration. Because strangely, she has started illustrating. <laughs> and I've always said how very often uh, illustrators become writers because we're telling stories with pictures. Um, and uh, very rarely do writers go the other way and become illustrators because it's kind of le learning another whole language. It's a different thing. Whereas illustrators have just been brought up with words at the same time as they've been learning to paint and draw. Um, so um, Viv teaches illustration on the illustration course at Edinburgh University, uh, Edinburgh School of Art. And uh, so she's coming on tomorrow and we're going to talk about illustration. And um, <laughs> I'm sure she's got an awful lot <laughs> to tell you and we'll be very, very interested. In she's, she's been an actress um, and she, she writes plays and stuff and... It's a fabulous storyteller and everything. Uh, so so that's going to be great. Be here tomorrow to see Viv. And next week, I've definitely got uh, Renita Boyle coming on, who is a, uh, a storyteller in Scotland, although she's from America. So we were chatting this morning, planning it out. And um, so that's going to be hilarious. If you drink tea and you make it from tea bags, start collecting your tea bags afterwards smoothing them out and letting them dry okay <laughs> you are warned <laughs> so uh what are we going to do we want this kind of um we're going to want a kind of i think ochre is a really good color to start with i think um and i'm just whooshing that into the mess that was on the palette there before yeah don't don't worry too much about that i think i'll just zoom in a little bit i will not zoom out um and glasses again. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to leave those bits. That's actually a little bit dark, I think. So I'll just dab that. And I'm going to get a bit of cadmium yellow. I think cadmium yellow light in there just to lighten it up a bit. Um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to leave those little sort of bits in there unpainted so that they're much brighter and maybe that little bit around the top as well now i'm going to i should have um, I, I could as well of course leave those stones unpainted leave no stone unturned as the saying goes but unpainted that's one way i guess so with the shading and the shadow thing we were talking about yesterday you're going to find because it's uh, it's a sphere, uh, not a sphere, it's a cylinder, then you're going to want sort of shading down the side here, like that. And that's probably the most that you need, I think, uh, at the moment. So let's get a bit more, a bit more yellow ochre, and uh, that's gone a bit dark. So I'm just going to add a bit more water to it as I'm going along. Um, and here I'm thinking 
we want this to stand out from these battlements. So I'm going to get a bit of burnt amber and I'm going to drop that in down here behind there and while it's all still wet. So these are all kind of wet on wet kind of techniques and then I'm going to just kind of let it um, sort of flood up into that area there and then I'm gonna yeah you know, I'm gonna add a little bit, <laughs> a bit more up here because it looks <laughs> it needs to look a bit sort of rough and old doesn't it and again let's go back to this um, to the yellow ochre which is probably going to be too bright on this side and we can go around the, yeah I can do that bit there but I'm gonna leave oh I've gone over it by mistake <laughs> so, so let's come all the way down to there and again we want that burnt umber and um, to get that kind of feeling of the the, the roundness of the tower let's um, bring that down there and and using it's kind of wet on wet that's allowing it to sort of filter and fade into the color that you've put down already on there like that and then we're going to want that yellow ochre again and let's try and keep these um these little tops of the battlements let's try and keep them <laughs> pale so i think i think if i was <laughs> doing this for a book i'd be being a little bit a little bit slower but I'm just kind of aware of the clock and you know and and the, I, I think you're gonna get bored if I take too long over it <laughs> I think you know, that yeah do you get bored watching painting videos I, I don't really watch painting videos um, I don't know I think I think it depends on the Oh, see, I'm using green in there where I've been using burnt umber. I'm just picking up the whatever mess is in there. I'm going to add a bit of blue in with that umber as well, just to make it a bit darker. So, and then um, I'm just going to let this fade in because this turret is standing proud of the wall there. So it's going to be creating a bit of sort of shade there. And we want a bit of differentiation between the areas as well. Um, and so I'm going to get some burnt amber and a bit of um, ultramarine blue to get a bit of darkness in there and I'm going to sort of put this darkness in underneath those little areas to uh, sort of shading and shadow uh, underneath there and, and you can paint in a few stones as well just just the odd kind of little flicks uh, like we did with drawings just, just to kind of break up and get a bit of texture so here it's a bit more dry so I can do these nice little one two three kind of one two three these little sort of tr triplets and I think it that this arch is going to be really quite dark underneath here because that's sort of going in so you get quite a shadow there but I think that will be quite light on that side because the light will be coming in from the other side and we can have something quite pale on the inside and maybe something more sort of woody kind of color there and then here we've got that burnt umber. I'm going to add a bit more ultramarine to make that sort of more sort of grey, new, dark, neutral tint kind of colour to put the rocks in down here that it's been sort of, they've sort of dug this all out like that. And I think, I think in, I think those old um, moats, yeah they, yeah, they were chucking all the peelings in there and, you know, and there'd be toilets sort of going straight into the moat. And so I think we really need a kind of a green, gloopy kind of water down here. <laughs> it's probably a, a bit disgusting. 
Um, and uh, but then we can have a kind of a brighter green uh, for the for the rest of the uh, the grass and everything that's around there. And if I clean my palette, mm, get some blue in there. That's gone greeny blue, hasn't it? I haven't completely cleaned. <laughs> So we can have some sort of blue, just whooshing it. Maybe just, oh, that's too blue, really, somehow. And then a bit in there. And then just sort of whoosh like that so that we've got clouds in the background. And uh, who was it wanted the flagpole? <laughs> uh... Uh, uh, I think it was Crispin, was it Crispin Dry wanted the flagpole? I can't remember. Uh, flagpole, Crispin Dry wanted the flagpoles. Okay, so um, oh, I'm going to give you a kind of a, a yellowy, <laughs> yellowy flagpole at the top. And uh, I want this to be really quite dark here, so I'm getting this burnt umber and the ultramarine so that I can paint in the the um, mm, portcullis that's the word I'm looking for and again so I'm going to make this quite a lot darker get more ultramarine in there uh, 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 uh. and so I'm going to uh, kind of put some little dots or something in there just to kind of make that just a bit darker and then we want to make it quite a lot darker just sort of underneath there. And this is where we can now start putting sort of, that's probably a bit too dark, that sort of shading in there. And we want shading in on the windows and possibly underneath there. And I'm thinking also that this is sort of actually casting a bit of a shadow here. So, so I'm going to do something like that. And like we were doing yesterday, I'm going to try and sort of make that kind of fade out from there. And I think we can I try and get this, oh, that feeling of it curving much more. I think I'm using too much dark there. And again, I feel that we want this to be a bit darker on this side. So I'm going to have a clean brush to kind of wash that in there that's that's looking a bit better we could maybe do some interesting little light effects by trying to get kind of an angled light underneath those battlementy bits um, which will probably get similar things up there and uh, and then we get some sort of courtyard effect on the inside and again I think we need something a little bit darker here like that and then the, it'll be darker underneath there so we got the Sun coming down here and that will be casting a shadow on the um, on the moat there and there'll also be a shadow that are cast on the ground down here coming down that way probably on the on the the drawbridge as well like that so we have that sort of castle creating that shadow down that way and <laughs> I think that is probably <laughs> probably enough uh, wait a minute now I think we still need to do these little ones there as well and that needs to get a bit darker there Oh, and you see what? You can never quite finish these things, can you? So we'll shade in there as well. Good. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> are you going to share yours with me on Instagram? Seems to be the one everybody likes. Um, uh, so Instagram is probably the easiest. Is that a YPG flag? I don't know what YPG is, unfortunately. There we are. Probably a good thing that I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it right. I'll be back. Gotta get back to work. Uh, Hannah Fountain says, um, um, Judy says, You bring a lot of joy. It's 
fun when it goes wrong and makes us laugh. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Anna Vanden, got to get back to work. I'll finish my castle later. See you tomorrow. And with any luck, join too. Alfie Ross. Hi, I watched all of your videos. Uh, Patricia Beach is back. Uh, Serafina, we're here. Lawrence, my hair still here. She's still here, still here. Okay, can I have a shout out? Alfie Ross, I'm shouting it out. Okay, please can I? I just did. Um, Alfie Ross, hi. Is that a YPG youth, youth protection gang? Uh, young people's group? <laughs> Uh, DC Anders 92. I need to get that watercolour set. If you need to get this watercolour set, I've chosen this one particularly. Hang on, let me put it. Um, no, that's the wrong one, isn't it? That's the, not the right one. Uh, I've chosen this set particularly. It's um, the Winsor & Newton Cotman set because it's, it's, it's reasonably priced and, and um, easy to get hold of because if you go uh, to <laughs> the description box, <clears throat> excuse me, the description box below you will find links to amazon which some people i know don't like but there you go and if you buy them from amazon i get a little uh commission from that but you don't pay any extra uh, but it helps me sort of keep the whole show on the road um there we are uh, I, I i did a shout out there we are rerun rescue very relaxing voice hi <laughs> uh peter saboki never get bored of watching paint dry i mean paint <laughs> Uh, uh, Trail says, Alfie Ross, you're spamming. It's not wise. Meow. Uh, Clay Ratcliffe, I enjoy it because I can learn a bit just by watching how you apply the paint. Also, the big shit art is right. It is a bit meditative. So, uh, yeah, um, and we've got, uh, as I said, uh, so tomorrow um, we've got Viv French coming and next week I've got um, Renita Boyle coming and she kind of wants to talk about uh, um, art and stuff, you know, for meditation and uh sort of well-being and stuff like that as well so i think she'll have quite a lot of interesting stuff to say um as the vj says damn you're great yeah thank you <laughs> matt marshall alfie please stop he doesn't check the chat often so there we are um uh as the vj says i never get bored of somebody painting always looking for some tips and techniques uh really makes it look easy carolyn really enjoying the coloring process interesting to see the colors you use I'm, I'm just kind of using pretty random colors and i'm just kind of now I'm, I'm looking at a distance from it i can see that then should also probably be carrying on down there as well shouldn't it <laughs> something like that <laughs> so um uh, i love watching people draw or paint wish i was that good practice 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 Serafina, yeah, there we have little Alfie Ross. There we are. Artist gets bad. Nice drawing. Thank you, Alfie Ross. Sorry, you have to go. <laughs> Where's the knight in shining armor? Ah, maybe we'll have to do that. Okay, that's the next thing. So maybe at the end of when when we're all allowed out, like Mr. Trump says at Easter, mm, it's going to be all over here, yeah, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> when this is all over and we're allowed out i uh, hopefully you'll have got all sorts of little bits of backgrounds so this is like a background and then you can have that in the background and then we'll maybe draw a knight in shining armor and you can sort of put various things together to, uh, to create a full illustration rather than just these little kind of detailed things so uh so dc anders 92 oh, that's really good thank you sheila westmore and shu you want to sign that and mail it to me <laughs> uh i keep thinking sometimes i want to sort of put these on on ebay or something like that when i finished uh but it's, it's so much effort uh i'll also have a live drawing for uh anime tomorrow fantastic artist sketch pads so there we are great so uh go and have a look at that rerun rescue i like the honesty about the commission thank you uh lisa marie hi hello spa spam spa 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 uh just bought one of your ricky rocket books thank you thank you uh lisa marie says love your channel lawrence may so very enjoyable shoot many thanks and it is now five past five so we've been going for over an hour so i'd like to thank you all very much for watching come back tomorrow it's going to be really interesting talking to viv french and you'll find a link down below to her website so you can go and find out something if you've got questions for her um that would be interesting you might be thinking that you want to go and do an illustration course yourself um so she'll be able to kind of tell you what it's like to be on her course and <laughs> what kind of thing that she teaches and what they teach and how they do it um so that would be really interesting and 
I'm sure she she's she 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 has written so many picture books that she's had some of the world's best uh, illustrators do her books, uh, illustrate her books. So I'm sure she has quite a lot to say about illustration. <laughs> so until tomorrow. Well, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that then please do make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. And while you're about it, click the little bell next to the subscribe button and you will be notified when the next live drawing video will be. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.